Bruce? Morning, Alfred. Oh, thank goodness. I was worried. I hadn't heard from you. I didn't know what happened if... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to worry you, Alfred. Well, I'm just glad you're okay. I always fear the day you don't come home, Bruce. I know, Al. Where are you, anyway? I, uh... I stayed at Selena's last night. Oh. Well... That certainly explains it. I really like her. I'm sorry, are you smiling? You can't tell if I'm smiling. I know you, sir. While you're there, this might be a good opportunity to learn more about Miss Kyle. After all, we really don't know anything about her. See what you can find lying around, if she's trustworthy. I trust her, Alfred. That's all I need to know. If you're sure, at the very least, you can find that grapple gun of yours. Right. That might be harder than you'd think. She doesn't share your love of organization. Yes, well, I'll see you back at home, Bruce. She can afford to eat anywhere, and she still chooses Chinese takeout. That isn't even the good place. Pretty strong magnets on these things. Very lightweight, though. We could use something like this. Scarlet Pimpernel, much ado about nothing. Petrarca. Hm. Didn't take her for a romantic. What's this one? Oh, the Gita Govinda. That's... Academic. Her cat eats like a queen while she's eating junk. Vacation spots are just marks on her burglary checklist. It looks all right to me. Nothing growing, at least. At least she's got the essentials. brought breakfast. C can I come in? I don't know if that's such a good idea. Just for a minute. I really need to talk to you. If you want me to go, I'll go. But I have to get the... Bruce? What the... Seriously. What are you doing here? Have a seat, Harvey. No! I don't need to sit down. Bruce, tell me what is going on. I spent the night here. That's it. You... You... I can't believe this! Down. Don't! Don't touch me! I thought I would come here and... So stupid! God, I should have known. I should have known that you would do this to me! None of it was real anyway. God, how could you ever think it was? Harvey, I'm sorry. For what? We have nothing to be sorry for. I don't answer to him, and neither do you. He... he will not be able to protect you. And I don't need him to. Just... 
Get out of here, Harvey. What happens when the children of Arkham come for him? You think you won't get caught in the crossfire? You can't stop them! He can't. I may go down for what my father did, but I won't take her down with me. She'll be fine. Ah, oh, funny. Thinking you have a choice. Thinking you can save the people around you. Thinking you could do what Harvey couldn't! I'm sorry. What the hell is going on with you? Up until now, Harvey has been weak. He's been afraid. Oh my god. This... This is the monster they all know that you are. Embrace it! No! No! Oh god, this is what you wanted to see, isn't it, huh? The freak! Harvey... Alright, now you've got two seconds. Or what? Harvey won't be pushed around anymore. No, he's gonna make them pay. Everyone who thought they could hurt him and get away with that! Starting with you. Both of you! You're gonna pick that up. Who am I? Yes, you are. Harvey, you are our friend. We don't want to fight you. What if I do? Jesus, Harvey. Of course. Gotta be fair about this. Can't play favorites. They both deserve it. One way or another. Uh, how about we flip for it? This isn't funny. No. No, it really isn't. Selena, looks like you're first. Yeah, always getting in the middle of things. Stay the hell away from me. The call's already been made. Harvey. Bruce. No, I don't want to hurt you. This isn't... They turned their backs on you. Harvey, put the knife down. <sighs> Selena! <sighs> He's gonna hurt someone. You know we can take him out. <sighs> Have you lost your mind? No. Harvey! You need <sighs> to calm down. What are you doing? No going back now. That's enough. I can't. You're not alone. We're right here. Okay. I am. I am. I am. My fault. Harvey, don't. Bruce, I... I don't think we can help him. Not on our own. He's my friend, Selina. I'm not going to abandon him. He needs professional help. Help you can't give him. It's okay, Bruce. I'll go. I don't deserve your help. Go off with your tail between your legs. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Harvey! <sighs> so much for this place. I'm not gonna stick around and wait for him to come back. I thought it would be a while before I had to move again. Yeah, you're right. It's not safe to stay here. And I'm not sure I'm gonna find another place with this kind of private access. Ugh. Maybe I'll live on a boat. <laughs> Kidding. Yeah, that means you too. 
We won't go far. Don't worry. You should come stay with me. Uh, I don't know. There's plenty of space. Alfred could set up a guest room for you. I'll think about it. Great. What was that about? I'm supposed to announce my resignation at a press event today. Somehow try to appear happy that Oswald Cobblepot is taking my job. Sounds like an opportunity. How do you mean? They screwed you out of your own company. You have all this information that could bring them down, and they're handing you a live mic. So use it. I need to warn everybody about the children of Arkham. They have big plans for Gotham. Hopefully they'll listen. You better get going. I've got some packing to do. The offer still stands. Sounding better and better by the minute. I'm sorry about all this, Bruce. We've... Uh, we've prepared a brief damage control statement to make this easier. After I introduce you, all you'll have to do is read what's on the teleprompter. And then I can take it from there. Got my little coronation speech just waiting. Thank you for being so cooperative about all this, Bruce. It really is for the best. For everyone, really. I know it's unfair to ask this of you, but please. Right now, your reputation, your entire legacy, depends on your cooperation. Get through today, and I can help you. I can convince the board to bring you back. It might not be CEO, but it will be something. Of course, Regina. Whatever I can do to help. That's good, Bruce. Trust us to sort this all out. Everything will be fine. Already then, we are going to make quite a splash today, aren't we? I don't think I'm ever going to forget this day. Beautiful weather, corporate intrigue, a well-deserved comeuppance. Happy to be here too, Oz. Really? Thank you, Bruce. I appreciate you being such a professional. It's time. Bruce, I'm going to introduce you and then you're on. Please, stick to the teleprompter. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for being here. Wayne Enterprises has always taken its role in the community very seriously. Isn't it funny and we've how everything I said to you in the park has come true? Me, and taking everything that's yours, and that's not even a punchline. Oh no, dear, not even close. We have no one's going to follow you around and take pictures now. It'd always be sad if you were so bloody handsome. You're just a pawn, Oswald. And everyone knows that pawns are meant to be sacrificed. Yeah, perhaps. But at least I get the joy of watching your shocking and surprising descent first. This is just a first step towards making things right. Soon enough, it'll be Cobblepot Industries, Cobblepot Medical, and Cobblepot Tech on tops of buildings, and you, Waynes, will be what you should have been all along. A forgotten footnote. Cobblepot will come to mean the future of Gotham. And Wayne will be a story no one wants to hear. What the Waynes built would not have been possible without the Cobblepots, Oswald. I suppose you deserve it as much as I do. Bloody right I do. Glad you're coming around to my way of thinking. Oh, I forgot to mention, I did some digging, and you know how old Hill admitted he had your mom and dad killed? I found out why he did it. Oh, yeah. And I'll tell you the story, but only if you say, pretty please. It's quite the page, Turner. I'm sure you're just dying to hear it. I don't need to know why. Hill had them killed. That's all that matters. Well, I certainly didn't expect that. But suit yourself. Now you'll never know what part your mum played in it. And now... 
Bruce Wayne would like to say a few words. Remember, enjoy yourself, Bruce. After all, you never know how much time you really have left. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, in light of recent allegations against my family, I have decided to voluntarily step down as CEO of Wayne Enterprises. I know what my father did. I know how much he hurt you, but I am nothing like him. His actions are his own. Stop trying to save face. I have complete faith in the board as they work towards righting the wrongs of the past. With that, I am excited to announce Oswald Cobblepot, an international entrepreneur with a Gotham legacy. He is by far the best candidate to replace me. The company is in great hands. Oswald Cobblepot will lead Wayne Enterprises and Gotham City into a new era of financial prosperity. And with that, Oswald Cobblepot. Decided to be a good dog in the end, didn't you? Thank you, Bruce. You did very well. Great words from a great man. I would first like to express my deepest gratitude for the man I'm replacing. Nice statement. The press seemed to eat it up. I rather enjoyed it myself. We can talk about it later. Later? No. This needs to happen right now. Dropped your pen. That's not... You feel that? That's the drug taking hold of you. You... You're with the children of Arkham. No, I am the children of Arkham. I think it's time you knew my real name. I am Lady Arkham. And you already know the Penguin. Look at him up there, taking everything that should belong to you. Mocking you, the slug, insignificant bastard. He thinks he can get away with it, because none of them know who he really is. They wouldn't believe you if you told them. And if we can just get one more round of applause for my best friend, the man of the hour, ladies and gentlemen, Bruce Wayne. <laughs> Ouch, someone's a little touchy, it seems. It would be so easy to get rid of him. Who else will deliver justice? After his shocking and atrocious display of violence towards Oswald Cobblepot and members of the press, Bruce Wayne has demonstrated a clear lack of mental stability. That is why, regrettably, I made the decision to have my old friend hospitalized in Arkham Asylum. Batman, the children of Arkham, the Penguin. Doesn't Gotham already have enough deranged criminals terrorizing its streets? I believe that Gotham's citizens deserve to be safe, that they deserve to be protected. Even if that means I have to do it myself. With the children of Arkham out in full force, we need him now more than ever. Where is Batman? <laughs> 